So to follow up our last discussion on applications of the steady flow energy equation, let's consider the question in court. We have a question which says a fluid enters a compressor at the rate of 15 kilograms per second with an enthalpy of 2000 kilojoules per kilogram and leaves with an enthalpy of 2750 kilojoules per kilogram. Question says find the power taken by the compressor whose efficiency is 0.8. Alright, so first thing, let us bring up the given parameters. We have that fluid enters the compressor at a rate. This is mass, this is called mass flow rate. Mass flow rate simply means mass divides by time. The flow as a fluid, the mass of the fluid flows within a given time is called mass flow rate. That's why the unit here is in kilograms per second. So mass flow rate.
to have two uh, minus H2 is given as two seven five zero. So that's the thing like that what is now equal to minus seven five zero in kilograms per kilogram. Okay, so this now negative sign actually shows you that the equipment used there is what a compressor, and it was stated in the question that fluid enters the compressor. So whenever you have a negative value, it means it's because it's a compressor. All right. So if you have this question now says to find power given an efficiency. You know that efficiency recall efficiency. Um, is actually work or power output all over power input. Okay, efficiency is actually power output all over power input. So we are giving the efficiency. We now have the compressor adds work into the system. So that work is actually work input into the system. Do not get the power input. Power input is simply given as power input is simply given as the work done, the work output, the work input, the compressor work times the mass load itself. Okay, the work input times the mass load that means all the power input into the system. So power power input is now equal to the work done for the unit of space. Take notes. We are not going to use the negative sign to solve. Negative sign only shows us that the device in view is the compressor. So we are not going to use it to solve. Okay, therefore, the power becomes uh, 750 multiplied by, remember 750 in kilojoules per kilogram, multiplied by the mass flow rate. Mass flow rate was given as 15 kilojoules per kilogram per second. So we have 15 kilograms per second. So notice here that. Kilograms will cancel kilograms. You now have the power is actually 750 times 15, and this becomes kilojoules per second, which is actually the unit of power. What? Power is simply work done divided by time, and kilojoules stands for the unit of work, while seconds stands for the unit of time. So this is what we need for power. Alright, so the power we need. So the power input is now equal to uh, 750 times 16. What do you have? 11,000. 250. Yes, sir. Okay, kilojoules per second. So now we find the power input. But efficiency is actually power output all over power input. So we can now obtain the power output. What, which is what the question is asking us of time. Okay, find the total power taken by the compression. So that power taken is called the power output. So we can obtain the power output now. From this equation, power output is equal to efficiency times power input. So power output. Uh, simply for the three hours. Is in the efficiency times the power input. So we have P in. Okay, so power output is now equal to efficiency is 0.8. The power input is given as 11 to 50. So that's in terms like that. Power output is equal to 80 minutes more time. 9,000. So that will be value of the power and speed. Alright guys, I will see you in the next video with another wonderful question on application of steady fuel energy equation to mechanical device. Thanks and cheers.